my name is Enrico Lopez Yanez. I'm the principal pops conductor of the Nashville Symphony. But today, I'm joining you to help kickstart the San Marcos Unified School District's Start with the Arts campaign. During these times, while we're all trying to stay safe at home, the arts are more important than ever as a way to help us express ourselves, but also to keep our creativity and positivity going. The arts are also fun and easy to enjoy from home. So join us in making the arts a part of your daily life. Hi everyone, and welcome to Making Music with me, Enrico, the Pops Conductor of your Nashville Symphony. Today, we're going to make a really fun arts and crafts project together. We're going to make hand drums. Now, you'll need a couple of different items from your house to make these drums. First, we'll start with some paper plates. Two paper plates to be exact, one for each side of the drum. Then, you'll need something to decorate your drum with. I'm going to be using colored pencils, but you can use markers, you can use crayons, or paint. Just make sure to ask an adult permission first. Then, we'll need something to put our drum heads together. That's where tape comes in. You can use scotch tape, you can use masking tape, or duct tape. Just ask an adult what kind of tape you guys have at your house. Lastly, we're going to need the filling for our drums. Now, this is where you can get really creative. You can use things like corn kernels, or peanuts, or even beans of different varieties. Now, we're going to get creative and decorate our drums. The bottom part of your plate is the part that people are going to see when we complete the drum. So this is the part of the plate that you're going to want to decorate. Now your drum can have anything you want on it. You can add music notes to it, you can add shapes, you can add different colors, you can add all sorts of different fun and exciting imagery on your drum. Once you're done decorating your plates, it's time to start assembling our hand drums. Take your plates and put them the normal side up. And now, grab your filling. I'm going to be using beans. Don't worry, Mom and Dad. When we're done using our hand drums, we can always disassemble them and cook those beans. Just rinse them off first. Now, we're going to take our second plate and place it on top of the first plate. Then, we're going to take our tape, line it up with the edges, and tape all around the outside of our plates. Then we can start to press down the sides of the tape all around the edge of our drum. Once you've secured the edges of the tape around the drum, you're ready to start making music. You can play your drum by tapping on it or shaking it. However you decide to play your new hand drum, just make sure that you're having fun making music. Music